A new study has found that by the year 2040, 60% of the meat we eat won't be from slaughtered animals. Instead, it's predicting a massive shift to lab-grown meat alternatives. Well, to discuss this future, I'm joined now by Jonathan Braymar. He's lead engineer at Mossa Meat, a Dutch company that developed its first lab-grown meat burger back in 2013. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the programme. Um, you know, how do you make this lab-grown meat? And perhaps more importantly, what does it taste like? Oh, well, thank you very much, Elvis. Uh, folks. So, cultured meat is made by actually not slaughtering an animal anymore, but only taking a small biopsy. And from that biopsy, a small piece of tissue, we can extract stem cells, and this we can grow in vessels uh, up to millions of cells. And in the second step, we create from this dish, uh, from these cells, we create muscle tissue and fat tissue. If you combine these two, you actually have exactly what you would find in a normal hamburger or even a steak. So, you know, some viewers might find that's not very appetizing. How are you going to get over the, you know, enormous hurdle of selling this to people? Well, the moment that uh, you bake cultured meat, it will smell the exact sa same as normal meat. It will taste the same. So, um, of course, there's a thought of how is it produced, but we don't see that as a big problem because currently people are also not that interested in how their meat is uh, raised and slaughtered. And the way we see it is using technology, making things much more transparent, will be more appealing to the general public. And the other important question, of course, is how much is all of this going to cost? Is a lab-grown meat burger going to cost the same as, say, you know, a Big Mac? Well, eventually it will be. Uh, currently, we're still uh, having to pay a large price because we're doing lab scale experiments. But the moment that we're scaling it up, uh, it will decrease in price and we will be able to compete with the animals. Jonathan Bremar there, thanks for talking to us. And I should also remind the viewer that other large burgers are available too.